EFT Emotional Freedom Technique By using this technique you must agree to take full responsibility for your own well-being. EFT is not meant to replace appropriate medical treatment or mental health therapy. So what is EFT? EFT stands for Emotional Freedom Technique. EFT is a gentle tapping technique where you tap on specific points on the body while tuning into an emotional issue that has been causing a disturbance in the body's energy system. This disturbance is called negative emotions. Negative meaning something uncomfortable and emotion meaning energy in motion. So by tapping these points that are derived from the ancient art of acupuncture and acupressure while tuned into a past emotional issue, balance in the energy system can be restored, bringing with it relief from physical and psychological problems. Let's start with the basic instructions for applying EFT. And if you have not received the EFT instructions leaflet with this recording, you can download it for free at www.walkingtall-hypnotherapy.com. So let us begin with the tapping points. The first point is called the karate chop point and it is located on the side of either hand where the little finger is and just as it is called it is the fleshy side of the hand used in karate now what I would like you to do is begin tapping this point with the index and forefinger of the opposite hand you may use either hand there is no wrong way to do this as it is a very forgiving technique Tap this point at least seven times and each of the following other points. The next point is the eyebrow point and this is located on the inside edge of the eyebrow, close to the bridge of the nose. Again, either side will do, whatever feels right or comfortable for you. Tapping this point with the index and forefinger seven times. The next point is the side of the eye. This point is located on the bone on the outside edge of the eye socket. Tapping this point again with the same two fingers seven times. The next point is under the eye. Again this is on the bone on the underside of the eye socket. Tapping again seven times with the same two fingers. Next we have under the nose. This point is under the nose between the nose and the top lip. Again tapping here seven times. Now moving on to the chin point. This is located in the dip between the lower lip and the chin. Tap here seven times also. The next point is the collarbone point. To find this point run your finger from your chin down your neck to about where a man ties a necktie and you will notice a V where both collarbones meet. Now from the center of this V run your finger up either side until you notice where the bone angles off towards either shoulder and it is at the tip of the bone where it angles off on either side. This is where to tap. This is what we call the collarbone point. Tap here seven times. Next I would like you to pat under your arm on either side with the palm of your hand along the line where a lady's bra strap would be. Pat here seven times. This is called the underarm point. And the last point is located on top of the head, around where a girl will have a hairband cross her head. 
pat here with the palm of your hand seven times. Now if you need to go back over this section to familiarise yourself with the points before moving on, please do so now. So let's begin your letting go of feelings of worry session. Now the first thing I would like you to do is satisfy your curiosity on how you will release feelings attached to worry. Worry is only the greatest misuse of your imagination. So by releasing feelings held in your body as you create negative events in your imagination, you will begin to use your imagination in a more creative way. Everything man made was created in the imagination first. So as you begin to just stop and think for a moment of a time, a place or someone that caused you to have those feelings of worry. Just allowing any memory of a time that caused you worry to come to mind maybe even noticing as you imagine that time, place or person coming to mind. It has also got a feeling attached somewhere in your body. Just noticing as you listen to the sound of my voice, that question receiving an answer and that answer associated may be to a feeling in your body. Okay. As that's happening, and you have become more aware of the images and sounds associated to that memory, that worry. Very good. I would like you to measure that worry on a scale of 0 to 10 of intensity. Now whatever number pops to mind between 0 and 10 is the right answer. There's no need to go searching for rational right answers as you are working with your unconscious mind. And the answer may be very subtle. So just as your unconscious mind gives you that memory maybe even that feeling, it will also give you the right number for the intensity associated to that worry. Okay, so what number comes to mind connected to that worry from 0 to 10? Alright, so let's begin saying after me while tapping on the karate chop point. Even though I have that number of intensity of worry, I deeply and completely accept myself. And again, continuing to tap on the karate chop point, even though I have that number of intensity of worry, I deeply and completely accept myself. And one more time, even though I have that number of intensity of worry, I deeply and completely accept myself. Now begin tapping on the eyebrow point and each other point saying the reminder phrase to keep you focused now. That worry. Side of the eye. That worry. Under the eye. That worry. Under the nose, that worry. Chin point, that worry. Collarbone, that worry. Under the arm, that worry. And top of the head, that worry. All right, I would like you to take a deep breath, filling your lungs, and release that now. And as you exhale, 
notice bringing that worry into your imagination one more time becoming aware of the difference in how you feel measuring once again from 0 to 10 of intensity connected to that worry now as you are going through the first round of tapping on this issue I wonder if you found your mind wandering to other thoughts or memories even if they were similar I would like you to go back to the start and keeping your attention focused only on the issue you are working on now and if other memories have come to mind you can make a note of them and work on each one in turn just by returning to the beginning of this session okay assuming you have done that and you are focused and have got a remaining intensity worry number on that issue let's continue so begin tapping on the karate chop point once again while saying after me just because I still have a remaining worry number of intensity I accept myself deeply and again just because I still have a remaining worry number of intensity I accept myself deeply and one more time just because I still have a remaining worry number of intensity I accept myself deeply now begin tapping the eyebrow point again and each other point saying the reminder phrase remaining worry feelings side of the eye remaining worry feelings under the eye remaining worry feelings under the nose remaining worry feelings chin point remaining worry feelings collarbone point remaining worry feelings under the arm remaining worry feelings and top of the head remaining worry feelings very good now take a deep breath once more filling your lungs and release that now and as you do that, noticing as you imagine what has worried you, noticing if any feelings that were associated within your body as you bring that time, place or person that made you feel worry to mind. Just imagining that event, bringing it to mind and noticing the changes in you now. How you feel measuring from 0 to 10 again and should there be little left now notice where that may be in your body and just close your eyes and go inside and notice where you may have that worry remaining noticing where you may feel that placing your attention on that worry feeling and as you go inside with those closed eyes and place your attention on that feeling noticing if there's a color attached to that feeling of that worry and maybe noticing if there's a shape attached to that color and if it has a shape it must have a color and if it has a color it must have a shape so what shape or color is on that worry 
Maybe the outline is a different color to the body of the shape. Or maybe the shape is all the one color. Or perhaps it's a mixture of colors. I don't know. Whatever comes to mind. But you can notice now. Whatever color, shape comes to mind as you listen to me. That's right. Okay, that color coming to mind, that shape coming to mind. All right. Now just allow your eyes to open. And as you do that, Begin tapping on the karate chop point while saying after me. So what if I still have that woody color and shape? I accept that I am okay. And again, so what if I still have that woody color and shape? I accept that I am okay. And one more time, so what if I still have that color, woody? And shape. I accept that I am okay. Now begin tapping on the eyebrow point and each other point while saying the reminder phrase that worry color shape. Side of the eye that worry color shape. Under the eye that worry color shape. Under the nose that worry color shape. Chin point, that worry color shape. Collarbone, that worry color shape. Under the arm, that worry color shape. Top of the head, that worry color shape. All right, take another deep breath, filling your lungs, and then letting all that go now. Checking once more by bringing that issue to mind. And measure once more zero to ten of intensity of feelings of worry connected to that time, place or person. And if you have any remaining number pop to mind, just continue on to the next section for mopping up those fragments not cleared and if you are at zero you can return to the beginning of this session and eliminate as many worries as you wish. <laughs>